Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Welcome everybody. This <laughs> is a this is a fun time. Hey, it's thank God US. Halloween's over, am I right? Oh, good golly, all those <laughs> costumes and frivolity, all that candy. I I feel Hate hollow it. inside and have nothing to be thankful for. It's about time that we spiritually renew ourselves here on the Great Night Podcast with, with the more solemn holidays. Not <laughs> None of this, these sluts running around, <laughs> eat, feeding candy to each other. Well, Enough really of is. this. <laughs> feeding candy, is that is that part of oh, your Halloween? That's okay. how the Halloween works. That's how it works, That's- Bryce. You have these swats out here dressed like doctors and uh, <laughs> cats in the hat, and they're feeding candy to each other. <laughs> well, okay, so that's that's a, it's the second part there, Rush. Yeah, that I wanna... are there are there any holidays that aren't silly anymore? I mean, that do, aren't silly. That, yeah, like like, like like you you could. <laughs> I mean, but, but even these then, slots, that's, that's uh, recognize Day each other bullets. <laughs> Veterans Day is feeding solemn recognition and, to and each sliders. other. Sliders, yeah. Uh, you know. Mm. Wait, what happened? Veterans Day. Veterans Day is sales. solemn. It's not silly. Uh, what? It's a three-day weekend where you 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 cook out the back of a truck. That's or go water that's skiing. Silly. That's just a day off. That's just a holiday. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, so any day off is a silly holiday. Well, I I'm trying no, to no, find, you, you, I'm on a I'm on a quest to uh-huh. find out that that what is the least silly ho- holiday, the most right. respected. Probably I guess religious holidays. I guess. Well, Easter. but even then, like Yom Kippur, like Christmas, all about them presents, running downstairs. Yeah. Okay. Penny's still waiting for her PlayStation 5. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's going to be waiting. <laughs> Fucking let her know. Elections have consequences. <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, uh. Like, uh, hey, Dad, how about this year I get something besides an empty promise? <laughs> Would that be all right? <laughs> oh, Tell that to the labor shortage. Yeah, uh, by the way, so that's supply a silly chain. Holiday. That's a real thing. Scamstuff.com. <laughs> get, get in line. Get your presents now. Uh, I mean, Easter, I think Easter is not that silly. You're right. Easter. Well, I guess there's the Easter bunny, which is remarkably if, if silly. If you celebrate Easter. <laughs> it's actually one of the silliest ones. But, but even then, yeah, I, I think Easter is the right one because uh, it's the... Uh, I, I don't know of anybody who celebrates Easter in a secular, we just like candy kind of way. <laughs> you don't? <laughs> yeah. Well, like, no, no. I, either there's an, a religious component to it. And then right. there's that frivolity right. of, yeah. and we're doing an Easter or, egg hunt. Or mm. you just don't celebrate it. Yeah. It's just a day off. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, as compared to, like, you know, like Halloween, I think, you know, it, it, All Souls Day or, or... There's like Dia de los Muertos or stuff like that. But yeah, like, I mean, like, like and... and uh, that one we've leaned all the way into, you know, slutty nurse costumes. And feeding, feeding each other, each other candy. candy. <laughs> I'm missing the parties where we're feeding each other stuff. I just normally <laughs> get stuff. Uh, I, I will say, I will say, um, uh, technically, it's a national holiday, Patriots Day. Uh, hi, it's me, Mr. 9-11. And I, I think that, that, that will remain... That will remain pretty solemn for a long time. What's well, not a holiday though? It it, it was literally declared a national okay. holiday. Not a day it off. It was a press release a... that came out like five days after nine eleven. Yes, that nobody. Like, it doesn't even pop up on the Google calendar, does You're, it? Yeah, uh, it the, does, but it, it, you forget that it's nine eleven. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. not a banking holiday. I was like, was it? No, it's not. It's not a day off. It is not if a day off. If it ain't a There's banking a holiday, then it, it might holiday, as well be uh, National Chili Day. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, Very respectable uh, day, National uh, Chili Day. The National Day of Argument, a.k.a. Columbus Day slash Indigenous Peoples Day. <laughs> that, that That's the one, like, nobody's having fun. It's the day off so that everybody could feel bad. <laughs> that's the funniest thing about Columbus Day slash National Indigenous Peoples Day is that it's always been a day to make people feel better. It became Columbus Day to appease Italians who were at that point a marginalized group. Right. And so they gave them a day like, feel good about yourself. Here's a, an Italian person that has something to do with America. Yeah. And a it, guy who definitely got there first. Wink. Exactly. <laughs> uh, you say America Vespucci would have, uh, would 
be for whatever uh, reason. Hey, look, uh, Amer- it- Amerigo, call your PR agent. Like, like you got you got leapfrog. I'm sorry. Uh, and now it's Indigenous like, People's Day the because country, it has Italians my got name. two white, <laughs> two continents, even. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, so here's what I would like to do, because Halloween, billion different scary stories. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Just littered with scary stories. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Christmas, a jillion different stories about Christmas, and, and we mint. 70 new ones every year on the Hallmark channel. Yes. The Princess yeah. Switch 3 is coming to Netflix. <laughs> it's a cr- the Princess I think it, Switch 3. I think it's a Christmas movie. It always comes out at Christmas. All right. Ah oh, man, I wish you hadn't Oh no. Like I wish you hadn't said that it was a <laughs> it was like a Christmas story because if I Brian, if I legitimately went to you and said Princess Switch 3 anime Christmas story <laughs> Or porno, uh, like which which would you have gone with? I I would have thought, <laughs> I would have thought like Disney franchise, like The Parent Trap. Uh, uh, I and maybe I, it's it's probably closer to that. Like 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 uh, uh you and I happen to look identical. I have a shit life in IT. Well, I'm a princess. Well, let's see how different things are. Yeah. I spilled coffee on your boss. Well, now your boss is king. <laughs> <laughs> because we're fucking now. <laughs> Pretty- Welcome to Disney Plus, where anything is possible. Plus, plus. plus. <laughs> uh, but there, there are no thanks. There's one Thanksgiving story. There's one Thanksgiving story. Story, one Thanksgiving story. Uh, story uh, of the first oh, Thanksgiving. Uh, of the what, first the, Thanksgiving. The, 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 the peanuts? Yeah, basically. Yeah. The first Thanksgiving. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. The there's two. Brown. There's but, two. But, but really, that's, there, that's there's the story of the story. first Thanksgiving, yeah. and then there's the Peanuts version of the story of the first Thanksgiving. Yeah. So let's come up with a new, iconic, to be told for years to come, Thanksgiving story. Okay. Um. Okay. It's uh. Do we set it today or do we set it in the past? Well, it should be timeless, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and and it should be about a diabetic. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna start here. Okay. All right. All right. Diabetes, a timeless concern. All right. So all right. Here, hold up. Before, before we're gonna have a diabetic in it. All right. Okay. Diabetics <laughs> locked in. Uh, but we have, we have to start in the same way that all right. Halloween stories are just about the scare. You want to yeah. get the scare. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Christmas stories are about spirit of giving, like a a a bad person becoming good because they have. Been uh, changed by yeah, the series. So, so they're, of they're rede- uh, so a Christmas story. Our story is of redemption yeah. by nature, almost always. Uh, 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 Halloween stories are uh, stepping to life on the other side. Whether you're a ghost who wishes to be a boy, or you know somebody is temporarily horrifically disfigured. But you you can end on the sad note. You can end on the shocking note on a Halloween story. Uh, I guess I think those are called horror movies. But sure. Well, yeah, but I mean, any the you know, uh, uh, and and if you listen real close, you can. Oh still yeah, hear, yeah, yeah, got it, got it, got it. Okay, yeah. yeah. I like, feel like you, Thanksgiving it has to be like a story of gratefulness. That's the whole thank, deal. Yeah, thankfulness. Thankfulness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you got to be th- like basically, uh, 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 like, can we do a Thanksgiving version of uh, uh, what is it, a uh, Christmas Carol? No, what is it? The one Wait. with the ghosts. All right, all right. Just yeah, good. it's Christmas Carol. Got to right. get a little yeah. bit religious here. Uh-huh. Old Testament. Okay. What if we called it the Job who got away? <laughs> and it's just okay. somebody has all the trials of Job and everything's terrible. And then he uh, uh, escapes somehow. Escapes like the cosmic <laughs> the cosmic grip of God? Boy, oh boy, is he thankful <laughs> that he's no longer being tested correct. by his Lord? Correct. Now, correct. is one of the tests diabetes or does he just meet a sidekick? <laughs> is he or just have diabetes? To work in does he start element? with diabetes or does he get diabetes? Uh, I, uh, Alright, here we go. I like this. Let's workshop this. Let's workshop this. What are the trials? We'll, what are the trials? Well, 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 well uh, let, let, let's it's got it's to be vaguely Secular, right? It can't actually be religious. Okay, so, maybe so let, let's let's. He's start, got a bad job. He's got a bad let's, job. Let's start with the time frame we're doing it. Modern era. Okay. Yeah. Right. Instead of Job, it's Joe. Yeah. Joe. Joe. Joe works. Joe B. Joe. 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 B. Joe yeah. Joe uh, B. Joe. J O E B E E. 
works at Blockbuster. Okay. So this is we're wait, is this the last blockbuster that's open or are we doing this as a this period is, piece? This is the down like like he's working really hard and then we just see over the next ten years him getting uh, maybe his middle management and he's bossing around people and then one day, you know, like the so Grinch he, he deserves it. But then one day like the Grinch, when he realizes he's running the last blockbuster, okay, he's thankful for his new job at Amazon. Uh, and then, and then, uh, I, uh, then we just rip off Nomad Land from there. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I haven't seen Nomad Land, but let's 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 walk through this step by step. Okay. 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 All right. So we're gonna start in the '90s. He's working at a Joe B. Joe B. is working at a Blockbuster. Is he diabetic yet? Uh, y- yeah, yeah. Uh, which is why everyone's always offering him sweets and trying to ha- enjoy life. But but he's like, no, 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 I can't. I can't. I'm diabetic. Uh, and right, then, let, but, this this will help if we th- cast. This is it. also Can we cast some, some, Who yes. is he? Who, uh, who who who? What actor is he? What are you seeing uh, in your head? Uh, 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 J- is it John Mulhaney? John Mulaney. John okay. Mulaney. Yeah. Comedian. Yeah. Yeah. Man about Kinda town. Kind of has that voice. Right. Yeah. Uh, and and, and uh, like like just what's kind of Ebenezer Scrooge vibe. So he's know? a dick. Just, do we have Do we have anybody else that's working specifically like side characters that are that are at the blockbuster? Uh. Yeah. Uh. The dude from Hot Tub Time Machine who sells Pizza Hut now. Uh yeah, Craig Robinson. Yeah, Craig yeah. Robinson. Um, and now and now you said uh, uh now I want I want to I want I want to put uh 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 another Craig. Well, I, I uh call him Robinson from from okay from <laughs> what we do in the shadows. Okay, yeah. 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 All right, so uh, uh John Mulaney is running a blockbuster <laughs> in the nineties. Yes. Uh, Craig Robinson he, is. He, he, he's, 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 and he's just an asshole. Yeah. He's like he's like stack these. Uh, uh, I don't see enough copies of Armageddon. Uh, they're not going to restock themselves. We need red box refills immediately. And, and uh, uh, Colin Robinson is just like, uh, uh, you know, I, I've been pushing for DVDs and you keep not having them. And then. Uh, oh, he's like a customer. He's like a hard, a difficult customer. Oh, uh, that is So he's good. like the regular customer. And he's always inviting him. Do you have this in full screen? Yeah. Because I, I would prefer it to not be in pan and scan. I really need a widescreen version I of like the Last bar. Action he's, Hero. He, he's always inviting and, and explaining why Last Action Hero is better than the rap that, that, it, that it got. Mm-hmm. Yep, because you know a self-aware fourth wall breaking movie is a holy real. shit, dude. We're and- building a real Thanksgiving story <laughs> because now here's the arc. <laughs> He's the annoying customer at the beginning. Yes, mm-hmm. at the end when it's the last blockbuster, he's the only guy that comes in. Oh, uh, so you got to be thankful yeah. for like that's he's taking for granted. He's like, get the fuck out of here, annoying guy. Uh, it's, uh, it's a meanwhile, uh, Craig Craig Robinson at some point leaves to go work for Netflix. Craig Robinson, okay. So Craig Robinson, but they remain friends, and he's grateful for the friendship. Well, what well, it's a strained friendship that comes together at the at end. The end at the end, when he goes to Colin no, Robinson's, no. and then they watch, they watch, they stream on on Netflix. So Netflix. So he halfway through. This is like what brings us to our our big inciting incident at the end. Yeah. Uh, Craig Robinson is constantly writing. This like all these trials and tribulations of how big of an asshole the John Mulaney, our main character, is. Joby. Yeah, he leaves and gets a show very loosely based on the asshole uh, uh, moves kind, of kind of like of the, the, off, the office, like, a, like, like an office. If they thing. did the office about Blockbuster exactly. at the height of Blockbuster, and so now that's on Netflix. It and becomes, it's and it's exploding. Yeah. All right, who's the who's the the Netflix casted version of asshole John Mulaney? Uh ooh. In, in John Krasinski. John Krasinski. <laughs> John Krasinski. <laughs> he's John Mulaney. He's John Krasinski doing the John Mulaney impression. Hey, uh, I need you to uh stack up the uh, No, I can't do it. You can't do John Krasinski. He doesn't have no, like but a do voice. Do him doing John Mulaney. <laughs> 
Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so uh, he's it's John Krasinski doing an impression of John Mulaney. I need. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's got glasses. He's, pu- he's pushing. He's pushing the glasses up. Uh, I need you to stack the Armageddon. <laughs> They're not gonna stack themselves. Montage TikTok numbers going up. <laughs> <laughs> like, like all like the snap. Also, Emmys. Uh, we, thank we, you very much. We don't like, stack the red uh, copies. That, uh, so here's the thing: is we don't claim it's a thing. Thanksgiving movie. It just happens to, it's kind of like love actually. It just happens to take place during Thanksgiving, the most important VHS rental weekend Night of the year. Of the year. Yeah. And so that's why he's always an asshole during that time. And so are we like, are we just oh, always flashing on Thanksgivings? It's it, it's it's we, we keep flashing a year ahead. 1995, yeah. 1996. So it's it's all these vignettes and how life changes. Okay, so we gotta as, add as, some as we go. We gotta add some trials here for, for Mulaney. So he starts out as a major dickhead. He's bossing around his his we, most loyal customer. Kind of kind of likable. He just became became assistant manager. Then he's manager. Okay. Then mm-hmm. everyone's like, well I want days off. He's like, I'd love all the days off. But this is Thanksgiving th- weekend. Exactly. The biggest time for VHS uh, rentals. But we we need to work in, we should work in, like, complete ignorance of Black Friday. They only care about the day before Thanksgiving because they don't sell anything on Black Friday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> uh, you're like, oh, except for they, that's, you're like, you're like, what about Black Friday? They're like, we love Black Friday because all we do is collect overage fees. Yep, because nobody everyone returns forgets. on Black Friday. Everyone they forgets. don't remember till Monday. <laughs> this is our most profitable time of the year, people. Uh, all right, we need we need a hurdle. We need a hurdle for our main character. Does he get into a car accident? Does... His moment of clarity. Well, yeah. Well, we need we, oh. need we need to heap some shit on him. Like as he's getting more and more tight, we need we need to have a medical tragedy. drama. Diabetes. Uh, <laughs> diabetes gets lo- worse. Like 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 something happens okay. and he gets fit, and he now no longer has type two adult onset diabetes. Okay. Uh, and for the first time is offered like a kebab, and he's like, "No, I can't." I, and then you know he remembers his doctor saying. You can have more protein now because you don't have diabetes. Uh, hmm. And then, and and the doctor says you should be thankful for this. <laughs> and so he eats a kebab, and he's like, "Oh man, food's great." And then, uh, then that's and then uh, he gets fired. Oh, he gets fired. Wow. Wait, he gets fired? Well, I, mean, he's, I thought this is a medical. I thought it was a medical hurdle. He's, so he, wait, the medical hurdle is he. He is the opposite of a hurdle. Well, he gets over his diabetes, he had to, and, and he, thankfully he, he has to have up. a bad low moment. As yeah. you know, we slide in there that that na- now he doesn't have diabetes. He, we, he, he got rid of the diabetes because he wasn't eating all the candy at the store, but he was buying the candy, and so that took a hit on the store because he wasn't buying the candy anymore. He was keeping the store afloat. He was keeping the store afloat. So the store closes. Yeah, He's blame for it. Yeah. And so now, oh, I like this. So it's like you think it's just going to be him at the at the blockbuster as it becomes the last blockbuster. But guess what? He eventually has to go get rehired at the blockbuster, at the final blockbuster. That's our end. So he ends where he begins. Right. Oh. Uh and so, so all right, so he's fired. I love this. So what does he what does he do? We have to put him through some humiliating shit cuz he's got to be really grateful to work at the blockbuster. So we need some shit jobs for him. Maybe uh, maybe oh, they, that's they, how they, he they finds put out. him in the okay. the last blockbuster has the last adult video section. So uh, uh, okay. uh, the thing- no, this is when he's out of blockbuster. So he's fired from blockbuster. So we need to bring him back to we need to like so at the end he's grateful for the fact that he has his old job. So this is now he's out. He's out in the wilderness. He's got some shit jobs. He's, he's crawling through glass. Uh, uh, he's he crawling have, through glass. He, he should have like one shit. He should have a shit job, and then like he should have the Netflix job for a minute and hate it. Right? He follows Craig Robinson. He's like, oh my god, get me, hook me up, and he's like totally over his head because he's only got experience running a blockbuster. Yeah. Or, not, oh, maybe he goes to a peripherally related uh, business. Like uh, he goes to Circuit goes to City. Oh, uh, <laughs> yes. Circuit City. So he goes to Circuit City. And uh, they're like, well, what are you qualified on? And he's like, well, um, I know a lot about uh, VHS movies. And, uh, and they go, oh, VHS, huh? And they, yeah. uh, they, 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 Divix they, is the future. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> they force him into some section where 
He he's out in over his head. And he's got more annoying. Okay, so now we need a more annoying customer than Colin Robinson. Who are we casting as the more annoying customer? Than Colin Robinson. That makes him think, oh, oh, God, uh, I really uh, wish that, I could fucking talk to Colin those are, Robinson. Those are again. like three ruffian teens oh. who show up mm-hmm. repeatedly. Gotcha. And then they come up and they're like, whoa, man, look at this. B- boxes. Yeah. <laughs> Star Wars. So I think I think a really against type Timothy Chalamet in all three roles. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> prosthetics, like like uh, uh, maybe even like uh, 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 you know, just baggy hats, a gender swap on one of them, but <laughs> but like like real nutty professor shit. Three Timothy Chalamets. <laughs> I'll take your word for that one because I don't know who Timothy Chalamet is. He's Paul the... Atreides in Dune. Oh yeah, okay. But now I know. Yes, you're right. <laughs> I love it. There we go. <laughs> uh, by the way, famous. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, famous YouTuber Timothy Chalamet. Is that is that? Do you guys see this? No. Someone found. I guess he had a YouTube channel when he was like twelve. Really? Where he was. He would paint Xbox 360 controllers, and so he's. It's it's him as a kid, and th- like Vice did like forensics and like look at the scar, look at that chair, look at that rug. Oh. And they and then he like definitely confirmed like yeah they found my old YouTube. Channel. <laughs> That's so funny. That's it's hilarious. Like, All right, so there we go. Big against type comedic moment mm. for uh, 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 Timothy Chalamet. Also, er, hold on. Here's oh. an opportunity for a big cameo casting. Uh, we're going to have the parents or one of the parents of the, 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 the Chalamet trio come in and just grab him like out because that's we had to prove that they're shitheads because their parents yeah. are bad. But we can really overcast on this cameo. Okay. We can really reach for reach for the stars. Nobody's out of range. President Barack get? Obama. <laughs> Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, listen here, young man. Uh, <laughs> you need to be a good folk. You can't be some bad folks out there. Barack Obama grabs him by his ear and just drags him out. <laughs> all three, all three Chalamets, fucking all three ears at the same time and drags him out. And then meanwhile, this is when we're at peak. It's like, uh, man, uh, 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 I've turned down food all my life. I have a shit job. Uh, I've got all all of my expertise doesn't matter because VHS has gone away. Uh, uh, My lowest point, um, he goes to Thanksgiving at Craig Robinson's place. Palatial, right? and, and, and and, And... sees really sees netflix for the first time and the cornucopia of Of options options. he's like and he's talking left and right about how good this movie is and this one sold so much oh you haven't seen oh and we could skip right to the good part oh and and then they bring out the feast and then uh and then and and he can't believe the abundance he's so thankful that there never was a war whatever war metaphor between blockbuster and and netflix there was uh blockbuster can live on little reservations yeah <laughs> <laughs> while netflix does everything yeah and okay. he's so thankful that uh he's offered a job at netflix and uh uh lives happily ever after well no because we got to bring him back to the blockbuster he's got to be thankful for the initial thing uh so he he's got to it's got to end with him at the last blockbuster. Okay, the last blockbuster. So here, no, 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 no. By let, let, Let's follow. Netflix. Let's follow. Let's follow where you're going. Okay, okay, okay. Let's follow. But, so he gets hired at Netflix. So that you think that is his redemption, but we're gonna false finish it. Right. Th- then they're like, uh, you know, we got this uh, little side project. Uh, you know, he opens up the newspaper and it says, fi- you know, blockbuster finally files for bankruptcy or whatever. Uh, and uh, and and he's thoughtful, and then Craig Robinson, his boss, knocks on the door, and I'm like, saw the news, huh? And uh, he's like, yeah. He's like, listen, uh, I've I've got somebody who's in charge of side projects, uh, <laughs> and he needs a partner, and it's uh, it's it's Colin Robinson, uh, 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 who is there, like, in, I don't know, in a PR or something. But uh, the point is, Netflix wants to take the last blockbuster. And make it a museum, which means they need they need one person to run it and docent. another person to love it. I mean, number one, I very much appreciate you making Netflix the good guy in this show because it's going to make it a lot easier for us to option this shit to Netflix. Because <laughs> uh, I was thinking that we almost needed, we need one more humiliation for him. 
We need one more moment where he thinks this is it. The rug gets pulled out, and then and then I mean, he has whatever. To... He trips over and face plants into a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's there's no shortage of shit. Exactly. We no, this is what I'm talking. This is the movie. Here, though, this is the fucking this. movie. Yeah. Uh, great. He also yeah. loses. Uh, to at NBA Jam. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. He, 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 he loses. All right, he breaks on. it. He gets in trouble because he breaks the machine because he thought he get, he rage quit. Uh, yes. Okay. So here we go. All right. So so uh, 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 everything's going well at the at at the, uh, uh, the party the, at the, the party. Thanksgiving. He gets hired. Flash forward the next year. Yeah. He's back at the party, but he's not doing great at Netflix. In fact, like, like things are like, he keeps talking about VHS and how it used to be back in the blockbuster. Right. And so he's on thin ice. He face plants into the Turkey, big fucking physical comedy moment. What John Mulaney is famous for. Right. And, uh, uh, now next thing you know, he's out on his ass. So he tries to do, uh, uh, uh competitive NBA jam tournaments <laughs> right. at barcades right across. Uh, Oh, here we go. At, okay. at, at, at barcades, and and first he's doing okay because he's into all ninety shit, and so he knows all the fucking good cheat codes. Uh, uh, I think we need another. Now we need a rival NBA <laughs> professional NBA Jam tournament person, and we need a sage bartender. That's gonna bring us to our to our conclusion. So I need I need a rival <laughs> a rival competitive NBA Jam player, and he's older than John Mulaney. Okay, that that is definitely uh, that's the dude from the King King of Kong. Uh, so the, the real Billy Mitchell. Yeah, yes. We cast the so yeah. not not even a Billy Mitchell type. Yes. We cast the real Just Billy Mitchell. Billy Mitchell, and he's a real piece of work. And he's, this he's guy. still a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and so, as himself, Billy Mitchell fucking whips his ass. Yep. And he's like, "I just started playing this five days ago." Yep. And like then, he's uh, on fire. Uh, bartender, uh, last casting decision. Uh, bartender is uh, John Cena. Just John <laughs> Cena for no reason. Perfect. Just, just Perfect just casting. Out this glass. What and so, a movie poster. <laughs> this is a fucking. This is the John best Mulaney. Thanksgiving movie. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> John Cena. <laughs> Billy Mitchell <laughs> as himself, as himself, <laughs> Barack Obama and featuring Craig Robinson, President Barack and Obama, and Barack, <laughs> introducing Barack, introducing Obama. Barack Hussein Obama. <laughs> hey, he had to go with that because it's of, a sad because thing. Of, it's, it's a it's sad, a sad thing. thing. He had to go with the middle name. Uh, so John Cena, he, now he's at now he's at his lowest point, right? Yeah, he's fucking gotten fired from the one job he was ever good at and he, yeah. and he took for granted. He couldn't go with his friend who got famous making a show about him being an asshole. Yeah. He washes out at Netflix. He couldn't hack it as a competitive so, uh, NBA jam uh, player. Uh, John Cena's speech is uh, oh man uh, I had a low point too. Uh, uh, it turned out that going back to what I loved was what mattered most. He was like what do you mean? And he, and you know he's still cleaning glasses and he's like, uh, I used to be a world champion at all video games, uh, but then all video games went away. In fact, this bar is the last place where video games are. And, uh, and I love it. I love being here. I love telling the stories and I love te spreading the word of 1990s <laughs> video games. Yeah. And then, uh, and then and then big speech. John Cena is delivering the big fucking monologue. He's like, you want to know what? Every day I wake up and I'm thankful that I get to do what I always loved. I think you should find what you're thankful for. <laughs> Boom. John Mulaney. We need a big song. All right. So this is he's walking out. He's 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 figuring this is his moment of realization. What song? What song uh, is playing? The Titanic theme. <laughs> Titanic. And I, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's no, the bodyguard yeah. theme. Oh, the bodyguard. Not even it. That's even better. <laughs> the bodyguard theme. And he goes, I love this Titanic <laughs> song. <laughs> no, that's all right. There's a runner about a fucked up touch tunes. <laughs> there's a runner in the barcade about his touch tunes being fucked up, and he's just like, like, yeah. Whenever you play the Titanic theme, it always plays a random song. <laughs> And so, so, but um, but he's but he's walking by the, the blockbuster, thinking about his failed job uh, at Netflix, and he calls up Craig and and he just says, "Hey man, I just had a thought." Uh, is you know, and, and it just says, and and all of a sudden it's a restored 
a museum and it's like Blockbuster and it says brought to you by Netflix and it's the last <laughs> store and he gets to run it. Or Amazon or Apple Plus for all pers- prospective buyers. Yeah, no, 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 this no. is all swappable. It is. This is all swappable. Uh, <laughs> We're, we're trying. We're mix. really trying to option this shit. <laughs> like we're trying to cash in. It could entirely be crackle. We are not. <laughs> we are not locked in on any of this. Paramount Plus. We'll take your call. Uh, so all right. So there we go. So Craig Robin. That brings us all together. Yeah. Craig Robinson. Uh. 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 Fucking. Uh. Colin Robinson. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh. John Mulaney. And then. Uh. Oh fuck. We need one. Last thing, because it, it has to be popular that this is like when the hipsters decide yeah. that VHS is the one true it's, way it's, to watch it's all movie this night. shit. It's uh, la, uh, pa- it's Thanksgiving movie night, twenty twenty one or whatever, and that's and you gather with your family and, and you watch a movie. In. That's right. That's on right. VHS. Exactly. So you bring your VHS, and so now VHS is is a big it, thing. Popcorn. Uh, but, uh, we need uh, we need turkey that. flavored popcorn. Okay, so we need we need the one we need one more character from the very beginning. I was just thinking that up this, to be there weren't enough characters in this movie. We need one more character that grows up to be a hipster that ter- that starts the trend. Of 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 VHS. Oh, oh, he's the critic. Uh, of <laughs> the local critic. Uh, okay, Matt Drudge <laughs> is constantly reporting. The stunt casting <laughs> in this fucking movie <laughs> is off the fucking charts. <laughs> uh, it's in other words, it's the ending of Chef. It, it's uh, uh, the guy that's been shitting on it the whole time is like. Uh, uh, no, there's uh, there's a real passion for. Oh shit! So the, the guy who from the very beginning was early on the internet, yeah, uh, was was always saying like, "Fuck Blockbuster, late fees suck, fuck blah blah blah." I can't wait until Blockbuster dies. Like, uh, uh, and let's say he's 11. We have a child actor at the beginning. Yeah, he's in his 20s. Like at at the end. Yeah. He might be one of the Chalamets. <laughs> I think he should. <laughs> might be. be one of the Chalamets. Okay. Uh, he uh, uh, now is like on his his blog is huge, and and he's like, want to know what I fucking miss? I miss going and sitting with friends and family on Thanksgiving and watching a movie. Fuck bullshit streaming. <laughs> Fuck any of this. I I I fucking want it on on VHS. Right. Netflix does their their uh, 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 to to kickstart all this because they've gone all in on this VHS store. Right. They reissue the show about Mulaney's, uh, uh, that, that Craig oh, the Robinson one wrote. making fun of him. Yeah, yeah the one okay. making fun of him on VHS, and that's the end, Field of Dream style. Yeah. Big line out out the door to at, rent at, the, at the last, and they got at ma- the last I, blockbuster. Yes. Wow. Thankful. <laughs> <laughs> Late title card. <laughs> Thankful. <laughs> That's a hit. <laughs> That's how you write them, people. <laughs> Nailed Thankful. it. Starring John Mulaney. John Cena. John Cena. <laughs> Barack Hussein. John introducing Cena. Barack Hussein Obama. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> Timothy <laughs> Chalamet. And Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> <laughs> the actor, oh God, we really should know the actor who plays fucking Craig. It's Mark, Mark, Mark Colin Robinson. Frost. Is it, Mar- Frost. Uh, yeah, Mark starts with a K. Sorry, Mark, but you're in the movie. Oh. You're cast. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, there you go. Uh, we did a cast of thousands. We saved. We saved Thanksgiving. This Mark, was our Mark. own Thanksgiving story. We saved Thanksgiving <laughs> today. I mean, like, we need posters. We need posters. <laughs> we need to pitch this. Who's fucking at? Who wants to hear it, man? Million up, because this movie, man, you're gonna play it all the time. You're gonna sell it on fucking VHS. <laughs> oh, that'll be the cute thing. And they're like, I have it on VHS. <gasps> what? Exactly. <laughs> I've this got the original podcast on wax the original cylinder. podcast. Yes, you're gonna play this podcast <laughs> as an extra in the double VHS copy of Thankful. <laughs> this is the VHS. director's commentary because the movie is also. 25 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly just the actors like reacting to what we're saying, like drunk history. <laughs> uh, hey, we have a guest. <laughs> yes. Hi. Uh, uh, hey. uh, Ryan, Ryan's a fan from, from how many years? Uh, 
I would say heavily probably like the last two, three. Two or uh, three years, and uh, and you came in, your your vector was, uh, was it the morning stream or? Yes, the morning stream. And, uh, and, and th I assume there comes a moment where you decide to cross the stream and, and, and actually like, all right, let me, like, do you remember what the first uh, night attack, great night thing is that you saw? I can't remember specifically. I know it was when Scott Johnson came on as oh. a guest, because Scott you, Johnson you were there took to me watch to politics, him. politics, politics, yep. and I kept hearing night attack, night attack. I'm like, what is this thing? Yeah. yeah. So I came over and never left. There we go. So, and that yeah. led me to everything else you guys that like, do out of thankful. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, genuinely, yes. He pulls out, he pulls out his <laughs> blank checkbook. <laughs> He's like, oh. I'm so glad I was here, boys. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what did I say? Yeah. I was Brian. Well, yeah. I'm Brian. Sarando. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually uh, Netflix, uh, Prime Plus, Apple. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's all secretly one company. We don't let the plebs know, but uh, uh, dude, well, thank you, thank you, thank you for, for coming out. Do you want to play a game with us? Sure, that'd be great. All right. I got a mini game for us here. It's called Apologize is Four. Nice. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da I don't have any sounds today, so I... Yeah, sorry. Uh, so I'm going to give I'm gonna give you a headline. I'm going to blank out a word or multiple words, and you're going to tell me what the words are, and whoever's closest gets it right. Cool. Ready. All right, here's one. Thor writer apologizes for huge blank with Mjolnir. <laughs> Thor writer apologizes for huge blank. Uh, the blank is three words. Huge blank, blank, blank with Mjolnir. I I don't know how to make it three words, but the story is like continuity breaking decision or something. Like he he broke a like a huge in the comics. There's canon, and he went against it. Okay. When he just had, you know, the hammer get squished. Sure. All right. I'm going to go with a huge shit left near. <laughs> shit left near? Yeah. yeah near yeah, near yeah, Mjolnir. a huge deuce right next to Mjolnir. Shit right next to And he to apologized it. for it. And he's like, that's fucked up to do. So he had to <laughs> yeah. apologize yeah. for it. Okay. All yeah. right. Ryan, what do you think? Uh, uh, Thor Ryder apologizes for huge blank, blank, blank. And to review. He said continuity, <laughs> yeah. and I said he shit he said right he next shit. to the prop of Mjolnir on set. Uh, culturally insensitive pronunciation. Oh, oh that's, that's good. Go. Uh, the person taking away the point is Brian for getting it exactly right. Really? Wow. Thor Ryder nice. apologizes for huge Marvel continuity error with Mjolnir. Wow. Oh, uh, in Thor number 18, this is a spoiler for num Thor number 18. Sorry, I don't care. Uh, the God of Thunder wields his hammer as he visits Throg, but he visited Throg to ask for help with his missing hammer. What? He can't have a hammer at the place where he is going to ask where his hammer is? Oh, so this is a comic thing. It's a comic book. Gotcha. Thing. So there we go. Oh, I guess there's not, it's not on set. Right. No, he, sorry, they, it's not they, Thor. The, the, the writer could have drawn a picture of Mjolnir and shit next to it <laughs> and apologized for it, but he could, it wasn't a set. Yeah. Uh, all right, here's one. Uh, Kentucky school personnel disciplined after blank, 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 depicted at homecoming. Kentucky school personnel Oh, Jesus. <laughs> after blank. Oh, no. I'll even give you this. After blank, blank, comma, blank, blank, depicted at homecoming. Ooh. This was uh, today. All right, I'll start with this one. Yesterday. All right. Uh, uh, after uh, 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 big shit voted king. <laughs> voted <laughs> king. Voted king at home. Uh, yeah. Voted king depicted at homecoming. De voted king depicted, yeah. Okay. That's how it's referred to in the Bible. <laughs> well, one the more king time. Depicted. Uh, uh, I'm reading the Christ ha Herald, so yeah. that's what the book <laughs> One more time, read me the, the, the sure. title. Kentucky school personnel disciplined after blank, blank, comma, blank, blank, depicted at homecoming. Uh, homecoming. Uh, uh, 
Uh, Hazard Independent Superintendent Sandra Combs issued a statement apologizing for photographs at homecoming. Uh-oh. Yeah, so he uh, <clears throat> uh, racially inaccurate. Oh no! <laughs> oh. Um, uh, uh, emotionally charged. <laughs> <laughs> So it's depicted. all adjectives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Depicted at homecoming. All right. Because the writer of the story doesn't want to deal with this any more than Brian does. <laughs> uh, Ryan, you got a guess? Uh, I'm just stuck on discipline, so we'll say uh, corporal punishment, hickory stick. Oh, I see. <laughs> corporal punishment, hickory stick, depicted at homecoming. I see. Uh, this is from the. Left. So that's the theme. <laughs> the theme of homecoming is corporal punishment. Well, they heard that the switch was super yeah. popular. And now, they, <laughs> yeah, and now they need to be disciplined. Exactly. With, with sensing yeah, switch. It's like, like, well, uh, uh, don't worry. Everyone's gonna be carrying around paddles. <laughs> uh, this is from the Lexington Herald Leader. Kentucky school personnel disciplined after lap dances. Hooters girls depicted at homecoming. Personal, ha- personal have been disciplined after male students simulated lap dances at homecoming events at a Kentucky high school. Wait, male students simulated lap dances? Yes. And where, where did the Hooters girls come in? Do we know where the Hooters girls came in? Uh, I'm assuming they were dressed as... They them. were just dressed as... Oh. So it was... It was I, a bunch I'm of not... boys having some cheeky boys fun uh, dressed up as Hooters girls? Or they're, were they giving lap dances to the, the Hooters girls? Hooters girl, yeah. Uh, there was a Spirit Week thing... Uh, however, activities did not play out as intended. The, the thing, the, they say that they did not share a lot of details, which is making it very difficult yeah. for me to skim this news article <laughs> yeah, to find out where they, they're, they're like <laughs> the, the principals just, uh, ladies and gentlemen, could I have your attention? Oh, here we go. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> exactly. Uh, stitches and switches. <laughs> Kentucky schools man pageant with lap dances and teens in Hooter shirts under investigation. So I guess, mm. oh, there's... There's, there's just a little slice of a picture that is. Oh yeah, and is looks like a young fellow. Yeah, just All right. lap so, dances. So somebody just went too more far. like the like. blue ball state. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. That's that one. Uh, Wait, who who gets the point? Oh yeah, who gets the point? Uh, goodness gracious. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What, uh, to rem- remember our answer, I we said had racially, racially insensitive. Blank. Blank. No, dude, you said racially inaccurate. <laughs> racially inaccurate. inaccurate. That's right. inaccurate. Uh, uh, you said a switch. What did you say, Justin? Oh, uh, another poop thing. <laughs> <laughs> a voted king. Voted king. A uh, poop was voted king. <laughs> I guess we'll go with that because it's like. <laughs> King is the right gender, I guess. Yes, King. Yes, King. Play hot. Drag him, King. <laughs> All right, here's one. National School Board group apologizes for letter comparing concerned parents to blank blanks. Crying babies. Crying babies? Okay. You go, because I know this one exactly. Oh, okay. Oh. National School Board group apologizes for letter comparing concerned parents to blank blank. This is last week from the Highland County Press. Book burners. Book burners. Okay. Ju- mm-hmm. Justin, you say you know it? Domestic terrorists. That's oh, right. Really? <laughs> uh, that's right. Uh, 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 oh, that was the thing with like investigating folks under the Patriot Act. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the School Board Association apologized for it because they should. Because <laughs> you can't just say, hey, use the Patriot Act to, to investigate parents that are are, are assholes at school board meetings in indiana attorney general todd rokita said in a letter quote concerned parents passionate about their kids education are not terrorists uh uh bold bold stance bold good stance. news for homeschoolers hey, everywhere so, so courageous <laughs> i'm glad i'm glad we're speaking truth to power uh and i think that's the point for ryan here Uh-oh. what the what? fuck i fucking said it exactly you said you weren't gonna do it because you knew it all right. Okay. You. They, you both. No, it's you both fine. Get a half no, point. no, I'm not taking your pity point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thankful for the points that I have. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see here. <laughs> Welcome to my museum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is from. Dude, that jo- John Cena is gonna crush that monologue. <laughs> <He's> gonna- <laughs> oh, yeah. 
It's going to be one long take. I love that all video games are gone. (laughs) In our universe, all video games are gone. And this one barcade is the last place where any video game exists. And it's only NBA Jam. And it's only NBA Jam. (laughs) This is from Digital Music News. K-pop star Giselle of Aespa apologizes for lip syncing blank. Uh, Blank Mm. blank. Uh, Two. I'll say two blanks. K-pop star Giselle of Aespa apologizes for lip syncing blank blank. Uh, um, America, hooray! <laughs> okay, we got America, hooray! How does that go? I I've been a yeah. while since I queued up America, hooray! You no, know, it's like a. Starts off with a synth beat. It goes be do dee dee be do dee 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 dee. So like like a Devo song. Yeah. And it goes America, hooray! America, hooray! So what? She would apologize because it's a really easy song to sing. Well, because she she uh uh I assume. Uh, uh, was afraid that she was going to miss some of the nuance of the original performance. <laughs> so she said, just play the original, put a giant microphone in front of in me. In front of my face. And then everyone will believe it's me. <laughs> do, 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 America. Hooray. America. Hooray. Uh, fuck, man. I don't even know if I'm going to go. That's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> K- K-pop star Giselle of Aespa apologizes for lip syncing blank blank. Oh uh, shit! <laughs> All right, no, I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do the same thing, but but it's Korea hooray! Korea hooray! Do 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 Hooray! Hooray! I don't know. Korea. You would think for sure she would know the <laughs> lyrics and be able to sing she wouldn't that need one. A lip But that's why she needs to apologize. <laughs> oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Korea hooray is mine. Uh, <laughs> please give me something for, so I don't have to pick between the two of them. <laughs> uh, from last week, Mr. Roboto, obviously. Mr. Roboto. Okay. <laughs> This is from yesterday. K-pop star Giselle of Aespa apologizes for lip syncing the N word. Oops. <laughs> oh. uh, they were recorded singing and dancing to SZA's "Love Galore," and uh, I guess the N word isn't that. She lip synced the N word. I would like to apologize for mouthing the wrongful word from the lyrics of the song I was playing on site. I will continue to learn and be more conscious of my actions. There we go. I didn't know uh, this is a weird conversation. Yeah, uh, that's, uh, I, I didn't. I didn't know that that is. Uh, 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 I guess like K-pop is is very ingrained in American culture. I mean, as much as it ever has been these days. So you're gonna get mm-hmm. American fans that are like, "Whoa, that's fucked up." But I didn't know that 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 was a thing. Because like, I don't know if if I said an offensive word in Korean, I would I would have like. No context. You've already there. like just in this recording said, said like, like seven, seven really yeah. offensive Korean yeah. words. Now, oh man, not that's... the least of which is America, hooray! <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, we got one more. You got All one right, more ready? Radio? Yeah. Warsaw councilman apologizes for blank blank to portray movie character. Warsaw councilman is from NBC Twelve. Warsaw councilman apologizes for blank blank. To portray movie character, I blackface. Mean, God damn it! Locked God in. damn it! <laughs> Blacker face. <laughs> okay, Ryan. Uh, blackest face. <laughs> <laughs> Warsaw Councilman apologizes for blackening face. Hey! Yay! Well, fuck. Ryan wins. <laughs> he had the blackest face. <laughs> I don't know. Let's take a look. You, you, you say if it's black, blacker, or blackest. I mean. Ooh, Brian, what's your what's your ruling here? Uh, I have to recuse my. Uh, that's a pretty. Uh, that, that's the S. That's, yeah, that's a, a pretty, pretty, yeah. pretty well up done. He seems to be doing what, like a Rick James kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, he, he, roughly of the skin tone of Charlie Murphy. Yeah, uh, yeah. They they say in the article. Oh, oh, was, Randy Watson from from uh, uh, Coming to America. Ah, here we go. Mm. Good game, Randy everybody. Good Watson. game. Good game. Hey, thank you, everybody. Uh, GreatNightPod at gmail.com. Heck yeah, dude. Uh, we'll figure out next week. You Until mean, then. It's already been this week. I know, but 
we'll do it in the past, and then we'll be thankful that we did. And yeah, then we're gonna form a museum of the moment. That how we... um, how are we gonna <laughs> we gonna make this real? I really need. To <laughs> <laughs> There was definitely a switch that got flipped, and then I saw in Justin's eyes, like, this is a real movie. This is a movie now. It's real now to me. We've written, now we've written an actual Thanksgiving movie. We have written a, we have written a real movie. I, I'm calling all executives. All executives. Our, our, our door is open. We're looking to sell this by Thanksgiving. Oh a, year, a year after the movie comes out, like, Vice has an article, The Secret Hidden Origins of Thankful. Of Thankful. <laughs> You won't believe what Timothy Chalamet's role was. <laughs> uh, well, thank you for coming and joining us, Ryan. Uh, thank you. Thanks Everybody for supports me. us at patreon.com slash great night. That's right. That means that you get stuff like this even when we're out. Yeah. Get yeah. Stuff. Apologies. Uh, uh, this is uh, as this is released. Uh, I am in Virginia covering uh, that that gubernatorial election. Mm -hmm. Uh so uh, it's why we come out earlier. If you haven't voted, go vote. It is election day. So go vote on your local stuff. Yeah. That usually matters actually more than the big fancy ones that everybody argues about on the internet. So yeah, absolutely. go do it. Bye. 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 Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>